as we work our way towards Sea of Thieves, how was it working on Connect? I mean, w was it frustrating at any point, either with the tech itself or with, with the public sort of at one point really kind of souring on it? Yeah, I, like, I think through all, through all, everything I've ever done, I've learned. Like, and, like if, I, if I ever stop learning, I'm gonna stop, stop doing stuff. I'll just go walk around hills in the mountain <laughs> or something like that. But, um, and I think Connect is like the ultimate kind of version of that. Like, if you think about just designing a game, building a game, throw a controller, you know what input is, you know, like if someone presses the button, they can, and you can play around with, does that make them jump, shoot, yeah. whatever. But an input's an input. And Connect throws all that out the window because it's like, hey, not everyone throws the same way or kicks the same way. Like every, every single human being on the planet is going to do it differently. So from that point of view, the challenge was absolutely there. And, and I think there is something in Rare's DNA, and I think you can see this in Sea of Thieves, that when we're challenged, when it's hard, when we're trying to do something new and difficult that no one's done before, I, I think Rare has this almost unsatiable need to go do it and prove people wrong and, and do something different. And I think Connect definitely represented that. The, the kind of perception of it is always a challenge. Like, you want, like, I mean, we kicked off the interview going, hey, what's awesome is I read people telling stories in CFDs and that's what we designed to do. When you're trying to get a team to ship something that you guys care about and, and ultimately everyone cares about things they've put work into, like, and then every time it's talked about, it tends to have a negative slant, whether that's from you guys as tastemakers going, hey, this Connect thing looks like it's, you know, like it's, it's not gonna work or, or whatever, or just the feedback in the comment. I think that's hard for a team to be working on something that they're putting passion in that they know not like, it seems like not everyone wants. Yeah. Um, and what I'd always encourage them, like I, I don't need to motivate my team on anything around Sea of Thieves. Like, like they, they, I think I told you earlier, like you know, one of the designers dropped me a note going, oh, it's awesome we're doing post-launch contacts. I never want to stop working on this <laughs> game because I'm having so much fun. And I think, you know, in, when we were finalizing a lot of the Connect stuff, it's like, look, I know like a lot of the commentary and stuff out there like is it's bad, but ultimately there are people that love what you guys are doing. But they're not the kind of people that are gonna go comment on a Eurogamer or an IGN or like that. that's not them. But there are the people that are gonna rock up at Gamescom and tell you that, you know, again, their kids had a great time playing and their family all got together and like their granddad played a video game with them for the first time. And that's, that's cool. Like, love or hate connect like that as an emotional statement, it's cool. Um, so I, I guess I don't think Rare got credit for the cool stuff it did on Connect. Like the Champion Creator stuff we did for um, Rivals, like you could Pretty stand neat. in front of it and yeah. it made a version of you. Like, crazy clever stuff. Like, like, and, okay, like we don't, you get credit sometimes and sometimes you don't. So so I think for the challenge point of view, and the other thing is like, it, it was Rare's franchise, like Connect Sports was Rare's. Like it was the biggest, most successful IP Rare has ever launched. Like that franchise probably hit, and I can't remember the exact number, like nine or 10 million units by the end of it. Yeah. Like that's, that's, that's huge, that's a juggernaut. Like it was one of the biggest franchises in Xbox. Yeah, you'll take that. Like. <laughs> and, and that comes down to, like, you know, the team did a great job executing that game. And again, people think it was like a bundle. Oh, the only reason Connect Sports sold is because they gave it away. They didn't. It was a full price game. Yeah. Like, so, so it was hard. Like, I hate people saying bad things about what we're working on because I care about my team. And, um, but, you know, you just got to make, make games sometimes.